What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at y'all with our BBL a draft analysis for I believe it's season 10, baby. Season 10. If, if I'm not mistaken, I might just might have to just double check that real quick. Should have checked it before the draft analysis video, but did we do it? No, we didn't. It's actually season nine. I'm a goofy. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, it should be really, really fun, man. If y'all are excited to see y'all a Rolly Street Rilla Boons perform in the Ubers tier once again, make sure to show your support by leaving a like down below and if y'all are brand new as always definitely definitely consider checking out the content man and subscribing man we have 200 new subscribers right now and i'm trying to hit that 300 mark which would be amazing and awesome and a lot of people have been showing love man in the comments and i really i see y'all appreciate y'all man i appreciate the kind words man we're going through a hell of a past couple months and uh yeah all your all your love and support really means the world to me um and yeah so uh we're back in the bbl last season we were fortunate enough to get Marshadow. Right, I think we had first pick overall in the last season of BBL. We didn't make playoffs. We haven't made a BBL playoffs yet. I think we played two seasons so far. Haven't made the playoffs. Gonna try to make that a different. And we had top tier picks both times, bro. We had Xerneas and then we had um, Marshadow. We still make it. So the Uber tiers has not been kind to your boy, but definitely gonna be trying our best out here, man. I think we drafted the team to at least make playoffs. It'll be really, really fun. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. Just a little bit of context before we hop into this. We actually allowed a lot more mons than we typically do. So typically we have like a 25 point tier, which contains Marshadow, and then it goes down to like OO, Xerneas, Zekrom, things like that, right? And then you have like 42 points to uh to choose like your uh you know your not 42, 41 points to choose your Uber, and then another Uber if you want to, so you have to kind of categorize it like that. But uh we were actually um we, they actually opened up a brand new tier, 26 point tier. They allowed back in your Volta, which was actually in the first season of BBL that we played in, and Mewtwo. So that's pretty cool. I think seeing more Pokemon is really nice. They also allowed Calyrex Ice, man. Again, they obviously put it at a higher price than what it originally was, but I think that's pretty cool. They allowed, um, yeah, and that's pretty much all they opened up. They didn't allow in the Kyogre, the Cosmo Dusk, Eternatus, Calyrex Shadow, or Zacian. So your boy ended up getting fourth pick oh no actually i had the wheel pick let, hold up hold up let me rewind let me rewind i had the wheel pick i had pick 16 and then uh hopeless actually had pick four you went ahead and switched to boy i ended up getting the fourth pick overall because there's one mon that i really really wanted and we're gonna dive right into it baby let's just let's just go ahead and dive right into it it's gonna be none other than the calyrex ice baby don't worry about what we're blocking and make myself a little bit smaller we're blocking my logo a little bit. Doesn't really matter. Big shout out to Joe the Flamin, aka Talent Master J. He actually ended up making my draft analysis slides for me. I really appreciate that. I've just been super busy lately. He went ahead and said, Don't worry, homie, I got you. I said, Thank you. But yeah, Calyrex Ice Man, 25 points on the board. Amazing, amazing mon. Uh, shout out to Platinum Howler, which was probably the only person I've seen so far use it, but he used it very, very well. He had like sets where he ran Trick Room, he had sets where he ran, um, uh, rock polish, you know, I don't know if it's rock polish or autonomize or agility on this specific mom, but it's one of those speed boosting um, moves, you know what I'm saying? But this thing, this thing's ridiculous, bro. This thing's ridiculous. Glacial Lance, which is a base 130 ice stab move that does not miss, which is insane. Uh, this thing gets a bunch of coverage and like close combat. I'm, I'm looking over here at my monitor to let y'all know. Because, um, you know, first of all, I mean, base 165 attack, right? Base 150 defense and base 130 special defense with a base 100 HP attack. This thing is almost always getting off a trick room. Its ability, as always, gives you a plus. It's basically moxie, right? And it's also a nerve. So, like, if it gets a kill, it just starts, starts snowballing. And then, you know, it doesn't allow you to use any berries, to any resist berries. And this thing's coverage is ridiculous from seed bomb, close combat. Uh, you know bulky water types you know heavy slam it gets for those fairy types it's a very very heavy pokemon um also i know i usually do custom color textures i actually have those at the end of the video because at the time of recording this um actually i do have them mostly all done but i don't have them genned in so i'll gen them in after and then i'll, I'll go ahead and show y'all so if y'all want to check that out it will be time stamped in, in the end of the video but we're gonna go through this uh but yeah amazing amazing mon man my first time using it i think trick room is something that i'm going to be able to utilize very very well even though it's in doubles and um just for some context as well i used a lot of you know vgc 
uh, knowledge. I've been watching like a lot of VGC right now. They have a bunch of regionals going on. So I've been watching it and they have a format where they allow two Uber Pokemon. And I've been watching uh, Calyrex, man. It's amazing. I know it's a completely different format, right? Singles plus is draft league format. You can always counter team, but I really think that this one is just going to be amazing, man. Um, and I'm really, really excited to use it. I really, really am excited to use it. So, you know, your boy, I love my psychic slash ghost slash fighting slash dark type cores, right? So I figured what better mon to pair this with than the one dark type that is amazing, which is going to be Hydreigon, man. I dipped down to 15 points. I grabbed Hydreigon, which actually I really like because uh, my boy Hayes was at pick two and he was actually going to pick it. And I think so was Kurt. If I'm not mistaken. I think Kurt got Marsh out. I think he was trying to get um Hydreigon as well. So thankfully I was able to get my hands on it right before them. And I think this, this thing is just amazing, man. It gives me like momentum in U-turn, gives me a great scarfer, gives me a base 98 mon. Of course, Calyrex is at 50. So uh, you know, this thing boosting our speed tier up to 98 gives me uh lets me like break down psychic types that maybe the Calyrex doesn't want to see, even though we get mega horn, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, just a really, really nice start to my offensive core here and um and dracos and what i really like is that a lot of the dragons in uber tiers are actually like base 90 max base 9 uh base 95 so uh, this thing being able to outspeed all those you know run a potential scarf you know get a draco on them uh you know potentially hit them with something like that i think is really really nice and uh yeah i think i'm gonna love me some hydragon psychics and dragons rule the uber tiers right so this thing basically counters both of those so um yeah let me some hydragon next I wanted to keep up that momentum course so i went ahead and grabbed zapdos galar baby zapdos galar the fighting and flying type pokemon that has no switches at all so um yeah really really excited to be using this mon as well you know raybird close combat thunder's kick that allows you to lower your opponent's defense minus one stage uh every time it's used it really allows you to help break down a lot of those bulkier uh, type mons that want to switch into this you know uh, thunder's kick into a raybird really breaks down a lot of uh, you know, bulky grass types as well. that want to switch into this fairy types. I want to switch into this flying stab is just super, super good, which I think we learned a lot in our INT run, right? When we had uh, Noivern and, and Zapdos just dropping hurricanes on people's faces. So really love it. Really love it. I love the balance too. I have like a physical, special physical. Uh, I think it looks all great, all gravy. Um, and I dip back into that 15 points here. So I was able to get this really nice core. It gives me momentum to get into my Calyrex ice as well, right? Because uh, you know, the, these these uh, fighting types are going to scare out those dark types as well that my boy Calyrex doesn't want to see. I mean, we have Mega Horn, but you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, this is a really, really nice mon. I figured I, I get my speed tiers above 100, and I think this mon is the perfect mon to do it. It's going to be, uh, my, I was going to say Toxapex, my boy Jelly 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 Schoolboy M, Nihiligo, man. We used Nihiligo in our IBA run, and I really, really loved it. And um, wait up, someone's adding me, bro. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 please, daddy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Nihiligo here, it also gets access to Trick Room. Trick Room, bro. Not only can Calyrex set up its own Trick Room, but now Nihiligo is a sneak sneaker on the Trick Room, which I really, really like. I took a lot of inspiration on this from not only BGC, but also Platinum Howler, man. Platinum Howler was the one who drafted this with his Calyrex. And I found that they just synergize so, 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 so well. Even though ice and rock types do have a disadvantage, you know, uh, being able to break down that same, that steel typing, right, uh, is the one that really bo uh, like bulges out when you think about it. But look, Calyrex doesn't want to take fire type moves, right? This thing breaks it down for that. Uh, this thing does not want to take uh, fighting type moves. We are neutral to that. Um, what else? Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Flying types don't want to see us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, psychic types, you know, I can switch in with my Calyrex on this because it is a potential weakness. And uh, yeah, just really, really nice fairy types as two. Uh, fairy types was like one of the main reasons I grabbed this because Hydreigon and my Zapdos don't really want to see those fairy types and Nihiligo can do that. It also gives us our first Stealth Rocker, T-Spiker, Grounded Poison type. And uh, I also forgot to mention that I, we do have Defog in the form of Hydreigon as well. So really like that there um continuing the theme of, of trick room i went ahead and went with oregon 2 baby Porygon 2 is one of the best uh, trick room setters right in the world so um i am a little bit fearful of like taunt bait really just getting taunted all season so i might have to fuck around and run you know i might have to fuck around and run some white herb sets i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know i'm crazy like that we're gonna have to see though um but yeah i mean this thing getting up a trick room is really nice it, it really stops a lot of special attackers 
uh commit to my team also helps me with the fighting like you know fighting switching in on fighting uh, it gives me another fighting type weakness that calyrex can switch in on which i think is really nice too and take advantage of and um yeah so let me some porygon baby best trick room trick room setter in the game gonna be trick uh trick rooming and gets access to teleport so it can trick room teleport get the fuck out of there get me into my calyrex pick up three kills maybe win the game i don't know baby we keeping it going though next we ended up drafting a fairy type because i didn't have a fairy at this point and i was like yo dragons kind of scary for my team because calyrex offensively can check them but what's going to check them defensively and i mean this might not check them defensively baby but it looks fun azumarill man i've never used me an azumarill all gen 8 and now's the time to do it now's the time to do it now's the fucking time to do it uh azumarill is going to be amazing man i think a water fairy typing is really solid for this squad uh you know not having the ice weakness anymore with my no, I really covered Hydreigon's and Zapdos' weaknesses. They share a lot of weaknesses with the Fairy typing in my Nihiligo. You know, they share the fighting weakness, uh, the ice weakness as well, which Azumarill helps patch up easily as long along with Calyrex. So I think it's really, really cool, man. Azumarill here, you know, can always run a belly drum set, clean up late game. AV gets access to uh, Sap Sipper, which stops a lot of grass types. Uh, gets access to huge power, which will double its attack. You know, gives me a first... My first knockoff user because i didn't have one previously and uh yeah man i'm just really really excited to use azu i think it could do a lot of great things for us here uh next we got we got a thick mama baby we got a thick mama in serena man serena also another mom that i'm using for the first time gives me another form of rapid spin as well helps me solidify that water grass core and uh i might i might fuck around and get that fire type too later on we gotta see um but what i really like too was my speed tiers at this point if you see my speed tiers are starting to clean up i do have 50 at um azumara i have 60 at porygon i have 50 at calyrex then i have 70 at serena and as you see as my draft progresses that my speed tiers will clean up very nicely um which is one thing that i really wanted to do although spoilers nihiligo will be my fastest mon figured that i definitely could use that to my advantage having two great scarfers in hydreigon and zapdos um not only that but also um you know the potential of trick room like if my opponent wants to have a super fast team like bro go for it you know what i'm saying but i always have the potential of trick room in the back oregon the heligo and alirax three trick room setters that all pretty much can get up trick room very reliable on certain mons so yeah 72 right now, 98, 100, 103, 50, 50, 60 is what my speed tiers are looking like. Um, but yeah, Serena give me that rapid spinner as well so that I don't have to rely on Hydreigon, which I really like. And this one just got buffed with the rapid spin. I feel like it's so powerful. And Ubers with triple axle, power whip, knockoff, U-turn as well. Gives me U-turn, which I really like too. Gives me, you know, continues that, that uh, momentum core that I have going on. So uh next we ended up picking up a ground type because i didn't have a ground type yet and this one was perfect because i i i was kind of scared of flying types even though it's not scary you know what i'm saying but i still was kind of scared i picked up right here right here right here is really really nice um gives me that ground type gives me a stealth rocker as well second stealth rocker on top of nihiligo and the ubers here i feel like this thing is pretty nice and and it can run adamant most of the times so if you want to run like a rock polish set since most ubers are like 90 ish so um i think it's really powerful here and i think it's really cool uh, assault rocker solid rock ability uh you know perfect weakness policy holder as well and guess what a beast in trick room i, I paused there because i was burping but guess what a beast in trick room too so another threat in trick room which i really like porygon you know except of the trick room teleports you can teleport into riperia you can teleport into calyrex like who the fuck knows i don't whichever one looks better that week straight up next boom zerkatry i love me some zerkatry man great scarfer um great great scarfer and if you can see like my speed tiers are really starting to clean up now um but yeah basically an, an electric type right here because bulky waters were looking like a problem for my team although my calyrex does get sea bomb i do think that the um you know potential of not having an electric type and not being able to break down those bulky waters i really really needed also gives me momentum in the bolt switch which i really really like and yeah that's pretty much what Zerkatry is here to do take down those bulky waters for the squad if you look at my speed tiers right now we got riferior at 40 azumara at 50 calyrex at 50 porygon at 60 serena 72 zirkatry at 83 hydreigon at 98 zapdos at 100 and Hiligo at 103 and then we got boom scavalier at 20 another big trick room threat 
basically another steel time man that's why i drafted this thing i was really debating between another core of last two mons that i might pick up later in the season so i'm not going to spoil it right now um but this was definitely on my radar just to you know help with those dragon types like i mentioned azumarill might not be able to carry the workload especially against something like um what was the mon i was thinking right now i had a brain fart but a certain dragon type that i was thinking about too that helped me uh you know excavalier is just nice another threat under trick room as well with the right farrier which i really really like trick room is going to be a i think like not too much of a big component because as you see my speed tiers don't really rely on the trick room and i do have a lot of bulky offense which i think i really really like and i hope that it's enough to carry me to these playoffs in the bbl you know what i'm saying but we definitely got to see um but yeah love it man shell armor ability knockoff user another one which is great and uh steel and bug typing only one weakness in the fire typing which i have a zoom roll for uh which actually gets access to thick fat i have a riperia right there i have a nihiligo which resists fire i have a dragon which resists fire so not really too scared of it and that was at base 20 speed tier the only speed tier i don't have is 110 which boom i'm gonna hold and solidify here with tauros uh being 110 another normal type which just gives me a uh hitting weakness but what i really liked is that it helps with calyrex ghost weakness as well calyrex is uh, you know, week to go. So I feel like if I have Tauros here, I'm not too scared of it. But yeah, folks, that's going to be all. That's going to be our BBL draft analysis. If y'all do enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. If you are brand new, as always, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, sorry if it was kind of longish, 17 minutes, not too bad, I guess. But yeah, um, I'll be cutting to the part where I show the color textures and y'all can check that out if y'all want to. But if not, I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Alrighty, y'all. If y'all didn't make it to this portion of the video, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the amazing custom textures that we have for this season of the BBL, baby. Sorry, I just hit my desk door. But first off, we got Porygon 2, baby. Boom. El Pato. Um, oops, oops. Oh, no, I ruined it. We have the Headless Horseman right here, man. Big shout out to Sir Jorge the Great. Actually recommended me this uh, color texture here, which I actually love. Look at this thing, man. It looks crazy. Headless Horseman with the pumpkin on the head. I, I love it. I love it. Um, it's out right here. I fixed it from the season that we had um, in the YSL, I believe it was. But yeah, man, it looks clean as hell. I might make myself a little bit smaller just so we can see these amazing textures, man. These are dope as hell. They're dope as hell. Okay. Next, we got Schoolboy M, which is the same one we used for the IBA. Drogon, same one we used for the... What, did I say y, YSL? <laughs> YSL slime, bitch. Nah, uh, YCL. Yeah, but it's the same one we used as well. Easter egg right here, man. I really love this one. I love that shade of purple. I think it's awesome. Serena, which is amazing, man. I love the way Serena came out. And she looking thick, bro. No cap. No cap. Right fear you here. Oh, man. The right fear one really isn't that great, if I'm being honest. I'm still working on that one for sure. Uh, waiting on the homie CB Marks to shoot me one. Zerkatry Yano Electro from the Spider-Man comics, man. And the last one. It's got, actually, the last one's really dope, man. So if you don't follow uh, Sally Mumble, you won't know what this Taurus is, man. But hey, shout out the Herd Gang, boy. Bang, got the Herd Gang right there. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the whole squad for the BBL, man. If y'all are excited to ch uh, check out our run this season, hopefully we can make a splash. Hopefully we can make playoffs finally in the BBL after two to three seasons, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But should be a great one regardless. If y'all did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. If y'all are rooting for your Happy Valley Hariyamas, make sure to also subscribe, man, and show some love. I really, really appreciate all the comments y'all been leaving. I really, really appreciate them. They're so kind. They're so nice. And they're so thoughtful. So... I'll go ahead and catch y'all on the next video. Make sure to check, uh, stay tuned for our week one. We are taking on Tony, a brand new opponent, which should be awesome. And uh, wink, wink, Calyrex should go crazy, man. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.